In today's video, I'm checking out installing Windows 11 in VMware Fusion, or if you've got a PC, try it on VMware Workstation. The best thing is though, it's free. Check it out. Today's video is sponsored by eNow. Don't risk a data breach. Uncover unknown SaaS apps, risky permissions, and misconfigurations in minutes with your free AppGov score for Entra ID. Visit appgovscore.com today for more details. Hey everyone, Andy here. So nice to see you and a warm welcome to the channel. I really do appreciate you joining me. As you can see, I'm not in my studio this week. I'm actually on site in Oslo in Norway teaching, uh, but I thought I'd throw this one in for free. This is a session on installing Windows 11 on VMware Fusion. I absolutely love it. It's so easy to use. And the best thing is it's absolutely free. So if you're looking to learn, if you're looking to maybe build out a, a hands-on lab, then this by far is the best way to do it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do in order to get started and build that environment out. Now, just a quick mention, if you've got any questions or comments about this or any of my other sessions, as always, get those down below. I absolutely love them. And if you've not subscribed, please go ahead, click on that subscribe button uh, and do me the favor of subscribing to the channel. It would be great uh, to have you on board. So either without any further jibber jabber, I think it's about time we look at installing Windows 11 on VMware Fusion. And if you've got VMware Workstation, the process is almost identical. Anyway, you enjoy. Okay, so let's take a look at installing Windows 11 for free on VMware Fusion. So you can download Windows 11 from here. You can also download Linux, various uh, versions of Linux, and there's various other OSs there as well. But to install Windows 11, this is a 64-bit, and this is, of course, the ARM edition. Now, if you're using a PC, of course, you can use the VMware Workstation, but this is VMware Fusion. So for your version of Windows, so this is a password for the VM. So you can see it supports a number of different virtual machine types. So once you've done that, just clicking on uh, remember the password and it's stored in the Apple keychain, of course. I want to go ahead and create a new OS. And of course, it's going to come up with a 64 gig drive and it's making, again, these recommendations. So I get a nice little summary of the virtual machine. And I'm just going to click on next. Again, it just prompts you what do you want to call the machine? Where do you want to store it? So I'm just choosing the, the default storage. Now, if you want to change any of the settings before it runs, this is the place to do it. So you can change the settings as long as the virtual machine isn't running. Other things that you can do, you can see we have a, a menu of items here. You can either get access through the settings menu or you can use the little toolbar just at the top here. So again, it's really easy and very friendly to use. So again, you've got the hard disk utility, the network utility, um, you know, do you want sound in your virtual machine? Now, just to mention that I'll put the links in below from where you can download your ISO image of Windows 11. And there are numerous places where you can get this. Um, if you want to go through the official Microsoft channel, you can do that. Of course, you will eventually need to put in a license key, but you can pretty much get Get away with that for about you know almost six months actually as i said those are the settings so the first thing that we want to do of course is i'm using an iso image i don't have a physical dvd so i'm just using uh, this so it's detecting my dvd and as you can see i've got a couple of different iso images here a windows server 2025 as well as a windows 11 machine so i'm just going to select the windows 11 and i'm going to go ahead and click on open. Again, there's advanced options if you want to go down that road as well. But in this case, I'm just going to say, yep, I want to connect the CD DV drive. In other words, my ISO image and just click on that. So once that's loaded, we just simply click on go. And as you can see, it picks up the DVD. You just press any key. Of course, there isn't actually an any key. It means any key. It's always a joke. And you can see here that Windows loads. Now, to be honest, whether you're using Windows 11, Windows Server, the, the, these initial settings are pretty much the same. 
select your language and also the time and currency format. So in this case, you can see it's detected the UK. This is where I am and I'm just going to click on next. So do I want to either install Windows 11 or repair it? So of course, in this case, you select install and you click on to accept the agreement. I'm installing Windows 11 Professional. And again, I'm just clicking on accept. Cool thing, uh, by the way, um, if you're installing the professional, you can upgrade it to the enterprise edition without reinstallation. Select the license. It will ask you if you have a license key. And in this case, of course, I didn't have a license key. This stage could take a little bit of time depending on speed, processor speed, storage, and so on. Um, I've kind of sped this up a little bit just to save a little bit of time. Now, as I said, you can download Windows 11 from numerous sources. I'll put some links below and also I'll put in some training materials links as well. So if you want to go and learn more about you know, this whole process, a little bit about troubleshooting. I'll put you through to learn.microsoft.com and there are some really nice articles there. So during this initial stage, your virtual machine will probably restart a number of times. So if it suddenly does this, then don't be alarmed. It's quite normal. Now, just a quick reminder that if you want to get a hold of a copy of Windows, you can go to windows.microsoft.com or you can just do a search for a copy of Windows. It will let you install it and configure it uh, for up to three months. So you can use it for typically for 90 days. At the end of it, you just uninstall and reinstall it again. Of course, if you have a license key, then it's a different story altogether. So once this initial setup is complete, at the moment, we're still in a virtual window. We're still in this virtual environment. One of the nice things about VMware, of course, is that uh, you can install the virtual machine additions and you can take advantage of your actual hardware, which I'll show you that in a second. So you can see that the installation, as I said, restarts a few times. Once it's finished, it then comes in and there are a few kind of configuration options that you need to do. And this can include things like um, setting up the diagnostic settings and so on. So Windows begins here, as you can see. Some of the first things it will ask you is, of course, make sure that your country of origin is correct, your language options. Um, is the keyboard layout. Um, you can install a second keyboard if you want to. The technical term for this, by the way, is the UBI experience, the out of the box experience. This is interesting because if you're using tools like Microsoft Intune, um, you can actually use this to deploy thousands of machines, by the way. Connecting to a network. In this case, I'm saying I don't have internet. Now, this early version of Windows, or this early install anyway, doesn't have those uh, configuration files. So the VMware uh, additions file, which we can set up in a minute. So what we'll do is we'll then enter your name. So for the purpose of the demo, I'm just creating one. You would obviously put your name here and your password, and then it will ask you some security questions. I would say don't use the standard security question. For example, your mother's maiden name. Try to choose some other, you know, option from the list here. Um, who was your oldest cousin or, you know, a lot of these, the problems with these, of course, is that phishing attacks could potentially take advantage of some of these. Now, in this case, I'm just making something up. So I'll just call it Bob. And again, there are typically two or three different questions that you need to put in. It's not a good idea, by the way, to have the same answer for the same three questions. That's bad security. Again, this is just purely for uh, example. So now that you've answered those uh, security questions, um, do you want to let Microsoft apps use your location? So if you're on a mobile device, of course, that you might want to do that. That's quite useful for things like find my device. So if your device is stolen, you can do some, you can do what they call a remote wipe for security reasons. Um, diagnostic data. Do you want to send that to Microsoft? Um, if you're using a pen or a keyboard, it can improve your typing or pen. Um, do you want to use your advertising ID? So again, that's most people click no for that. So once those initial settings are done, it will then just load those settings 
And of course, you then get your desktop. It might restart one more time, but typically it doesn't take overly long. You can see it will also offer to do Microsoft Windows updates. So again, urgent updates, of course, it will then go off and do those. Now, at the moment, we know that we're not connected to the internet. Um, the display settings here are pretty small, so there's nothing really exciting. What we need to do then is we need to install the virtual machine additions for VMware. And this basically just sets it up to work with your, in this case, I'm using a Mac, but if you're using VMware Workstation, of course, you can use um, VMware Editions for that too. So the way that that works is basically we just go in and you can see that uh, it's not connecting to the internet here so that I've got no internet connection. So the first thing you're going to want to do, and it won't even detect your hardware, by the way. So you can see I can't uh, do anything here. So what we do want to do, we need to go off and we now need to install those drivers. So doing that, super simple here. You can see that um, the top left-hand corner says VMware Fusion. Again, if you're using VMware Workstation, it would say the same thing. I'm simply gonna come down to the virtual machine and install those VMware tools. And you simply click the install button. This will then uh, connect it to a drive in the, in the virtual machine and it's just going to autoplay that. So once that's up and running, I simply just click on the run setup.exe command and you accept the launcher and then it takes a moment and you just go through and install it. So click next. You're gonna do just a typical install or you actually in most cases do a complete install there. And again, a few seconds goes by. Your Again, your screen will flash a couple of times but ultimately, when it's finished, you'll notice that, hey, you've now got the full graphics come in. So this will pretty much match your actual physical machine settings now. So you'll notice that it's picked up my actual physical graphics card. So again, you can just reset that. Again, as the machine restarts, this just takes a moment. You'll now see that it now goes into full screen. And not only that, of course, we've now got full internet connectivity. Uh, and also you've got access to local resources as well. I, I've got to tell you, for a free product, I absolutely love this tool. And do remember VMware Fusion if you're using a Mac, VMware Workstation if you're using a PC. But the experience is very, very similar. So now that we've done that, the virtual machine just fires up again. Um, if you've set up authentication, of course, it will configure that. Just do control alt delete. So we simply click onto the virtual machine. There is also a key sequence that you can use. Again, just put in your password. And once you put in your password and lo and behold, you get your full desktop. And there you have it. Isn't that cool? So you can see it just renders itself and now you've got the full Windows 11 desktop. And of course, now you've got full internet connectivity. You can connect to local resources, cut, copy, paste. Everything looks uh, absolutely great. So there you have it. VMware Fusion for the Mac and a free copy of Windows 11. How cool is that? Now, as I said, you can also uh, create another virtual machine for a server. You can create Linux virtual machines and you can, this is how you set up your own study lab. And this is how I did it years ago. So if you want to learn, this is a great way to learn the different technologies. So there you go, VMware Fusion. So there you have it, installing Windows 11 on VMware Fusion and or VMware Workstation, depending on uh, what you're using. Hey, listen, if you've got questions and comments, get those down below. I absolutely love those. And if you've not subscribed, bump the subscribe button and come and join my learning community. And if you've enjoyed the video as well, give me a big thumbs up. Hit that like button. It does make a difference uh, to the channel. That's it for this time. I really appreciate you dropping by and I'll see you real soon. Take care.